Chapter 9 Then I saw a vision of the Lord standing beside the altar. He said, Strike the tops of the temple columns so hard that the foundation will shake. Smash the columns so the roof will crash down on the people below. Then those who survive will be slaughtered in battle. No one will escape. Even if they dig down to the place of the dead, I will reach down and pull them up. Even if they climb up into the heavens, I will bring them down. Even if they hide at the very top of Mount Carmel, I will search them out and capture them. Even if they hide at the bottom of the ocean, I will send the great sea serpent after them to bite and destroy them. Even if they are driven into exile, I will command the sword to kill them there. I am determined to bring disaster upon them and not to help them. The Lord, the Lord Almighty, touches the land, and it melts, and all its people mourn. The ground rises like the Nile River at flood time, and then it sinks again. The upper stories of the Lord's home are in the heavens, while its foundation is on the earth. He draws up water from the oceans and pours it down as rain on the land. The Lord is his name. Do you Israelites think you are more important to me than the Ethiopians? asks the Lord. I brought you out of Egypt, but have I not done as much for other nations too? I brought the Philistines from Crete, and led the Arameans out of Kir. I, the Sovereign Lord, am watching this sinful nation of Israel, and I will uproot it and scatter its people across the earth. Yet I have promised that I will never completely destroy the family of Israel, says the Lord. For I have commanded that Israel be persecuted by the other nations, as grain is sifted in a sieve, yet not one true kernel will be lost. But all the sinners will die by the sword, all those who say, Nothing bad will happen to us. In that day I will restore the fallen kingdom of David. It is now like a house in ruins, but I will rebuild its walls and restore its former glory. And Israel will possess what is left of Edom and all the nations I have called to be mine. I, the Lord, have spoken, and I will do these things. The time will come, says the Lord, when the grain and grapes will grow faster than they can be harvested. Then the terraced vineyards on the hills of Israel will drip with sweet wine. I will bring my exiled people of Israel back from distant lands, and they will rebuild their ruined cities and live in them again. They will plant vineyards and gardens. They will eat their crops and drink their wine. I will firmly plant them there in the land I have given them, says the Lord your God. Then they will never be uprooted again.